And thank you for being a part of the art and for watching the reveal of the Suicide Awareness Voices of Education social media art piece. I'm Gretchen Spocky and I am an artist uh, living in Chanhassen, Minnesota. And a little over a week ago, I challenged everyone to give me an idea and a short explanation um, to incorporate into a painting. And um, over 20 people answered the challenge on my Facebook fan page, and I thank them for that. And I'm honored to show you the results. But first, um, I want to share my passion for the cause, which is SAVE. Um, depression and mental illness is a huge issue that spans many generations. Up until now, it was not talked about, and it tends to carry a negative stigma. I'm doing this uh, art piece to break the silence and to let everyone know that there is hope, and it is up to us to reach out and support those that are suffering uh, with a better understanding of mental illness and depression. It's nothing to be ashamed of. SAVE is a great organization that, or that educates on this very topic and brings support for those who are willing to seek it out. With that being said, the painting is called Hope. Whether it's finding hope in a new day, a cure, or simply choosing to reach out and live, we all need hope in our lives. Here it is. There are five entries that all tie together, and in, in order to make sure that I don't uh, jump around too much, I'm reading off my notes, so I apologize, but I want to make this as understandable and clear as possible. To start, the first entry was from a friend of mine who is in the funeral business. Her idea just shook me to the core, and her work, um, she has dealt with clients' loss due to suicide, and the one thing that she told me that, stuck, that stood out was a common thread in the last words were always lack of hope. Her idea was sort of a, a to-do list um, or like a, a bulletin board for their family, whether it's in their main kitchen or their main central area. But um, I usually tr I loosely translated it right here um, in the piece. And whether it's a wedding, a family trip, girls' night out, or an ice cream for dinner night, um, that's the way that they keep track of um, what's on their board and their to-do list. That way they always have something to look forward to, especially during our long winters. <laughs> I don't know about you, but right now we have a countdown until school ends. So whatever your family is looking forward to, it's part of the message, finding hope in the future. Um, the other idea, idea was silly string, and the silly string is represented right up here in the, in the piece. And I incorporated that just to have an element of whimsy, um, even if it's just for conversation's sake. Um, we, along with some other families in the area, ambush our kids the last day of school with silly string right when they get off the bus. And it's somewhat become a tradition of sorts as the kids look forward to it every year, of course. Um, but to me, this ties with the to-do and the bulletin board for obvious reasons for, for countdown, but also it signifies the start of summer and freedom in their minds. It's also a time where many try new activities or maybe hang out with some other groups of friends on a whim. It's a time for fun, but also change and development, which is also hopeful. And that brings me to my next entry having to do with time. Whether it's a sunset here or a sunrise there, um, there's a time for everything and nothing is static. There's a time to laugh, a time to cry, and a time to take a stand. Ultimately, growing and healing over time. For texture, I added a little bit more whimsy, and I added parts from a watch that you can um, see that are kind of falling down in this area of the painting, and I thought it would also add movement. So you'll see um, so far that um, there are three. Um, the fourth idea was choose life, and I, I took a more literal take on that, um, and I wrote life uh, right up here, um, somewhat in the sky, I guess. Um, and choosing life to me, it, it circles back to finding hope, hope in humanity, helping each other, oneself by simply reaching out. Um, inviting someone to a cup of tea may seem like a simple gesture to you and I, but to someone who's in a dark place, that means I'm getting out of the house and knowing that someone cares enough time, enough to spend time with them, which again circles back to the watch piece. Um, you will also see many uh, flowers um, throughout that signify growth and healing and remembering. I, I always manage to sneak in a cross and something musical, which it happens to be this guitar and uh, guitar strings. I think there's a couple in here um, as well, as both have, to, have a lot to do with hope. I love music and I love um, listening to different kinds of music and it always inspires me to do my art and without my faith I wouldn't have my creativity. So um, the last one I chose, the final fifth one, was from a friend that not only has gone through her own battles but has reached out by being involved in a suicide hotline while we were in college. 
Um, her idea was a hummingbird. And um, she lives in Austin, Texas, and has been um, watching a female hummingbird take on an orphan chick while becoming a mom herself. Um, hummingbirds, as we know, are industrious and, of course, fast. But this is a great example that shows that even in nature, reaching out can save a life. After I told her about using her idea for, and the title of the piece, she was blown away. Not, not because I chose her idea or it was going to be on the local news, but it was because earlier uh, this spring, they had gave, given the name to the hummingbird, and the hummingbird's name is Hope. I, it's, it's just truly come full circle, which it's, working on this has been so amazing and so full of meaning. Um, when I started the, the story of the two 14-year-old girls, um, just broke my heart, and that was my cue to make sure that the word gets out. I don't know many people that would um, bully someone knowing that they have depression or dealing with mental illness. As I was creating, I thought about those who have suffered a loss or have had dark times, and that's what kept me going and the primary reason why I was able to get it done in, in a week. Um, I hope that this storyline will bring thought and awareness to all that see it. Thanks for coming with me on this incredible uh, ride, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.